mtu anaona already we mwisho yako tu ni ukufe hmm? Hmm? ukufe tu hakuna mtu anachungulika mi size maisha yangu ile tu ile kitu inanisaidia tu ni maombi hmm? unapata ma relative wengine wanakuja wanakuliza hata eh masai ukikufa utazikwa wapi unaona Inakuja tongo nguvu mimi naitwa presenter Ali your entertainment PA the A is always for amazing siku zote natia bidii kuhakikisha kwamba nakuletea stories tofauti and of course it's another episode fully and proudly sponsored by Bed Palace KE they have amazing a furniture be it bed seats uh, tables office cha- uh, office chairs and tables make sure you reach out to them no waambie kwamba umetumwa na presenter Ali the entertainment PA of course tutakuwa menipa support ya kutosha anyways leo nimekuja kupiga story na one immaculate immaculate okoth uh, she has a stories to share lakini kabla ya hapo wacha jitambulishe kwa majina naitwa immaculate okoth mm-hmm. kutoka game siaya mm-hmm. mm. yeah so you reached out uh, you have a story to share it's your time okay mm-hmm. eh kwa majina naitwa immaculate okoth mm-hmm. kutoka game siaya mm-hmm. mimi ni oh, age yangu ni 38 now mm-hmm. Uh, niko na watoto wawili mm-hmm. na mchuku mmoja. Mm-hmm. Mm, nimesomea mpaka form 2. Mm-hmm. Na wazazi wangu baba ako lakini mama alishaaga. Mm-hmm. Mm, kwa watoto kwa kwetu mimi ndio first born mm-hmm. na tuko watoto wanne. Mm-hmm. Mm, mama alikufa mm-hmm. aka kama niko form 1. Mm-hmm. Yeah lakini watoto wangu niliza first born wangu kama niko na 14 years na second kama niko na 16 years now eh so, na mimi natoka siaya huko game kambari na nilikuwa nasomea alor girls na primary nimesomea hapa Nairobi alafu ndio nikaenda kumalizia class 8 huko game saa vile tulikuwa tunaishi mama wakati aliaga ndio hapo maisha yangu ilianza kulemea cuz um, mama alikufa uh, akawacha mtu aka, akawacha mtoto ako, kama kuna 3 months okay wake mm-hmm. na sasa hiyo already pia mimi nilikuwa na watoto wawili mm-hmm. saa vile mama aliaga baba alirudi Nairobi akaniwacha na watoto wetu wale wawili mm-hmm. na plus ule alizaliwa na mimi na au wangu pia mm-hmm. saa maisha ilianza hapo kunilemea kabisa ilibidi ni drop out of school kwa singeweza kuendelea mm-hmm. na mimi nilikuwa ndio nilikuwa na ule mtoto mdogo pia msa ilibidi niishi na shoch ushago hapo game tukaishi nikienda kungangana na jaribu kufanya hata kuendea kulemea watu ndio nipate hata maziwa kupea huyu mtoto mm, na jaribu hata kwenda kuza mboga kila tu kazi ningepata bora tu nipate ndio ni huyu mtoto aendele cuz that time hata ningekuwa nilikuwa napigia baba Saizo alienda kuenda hakurudi tena. Mm-hmm. Alikuwa pia shikisimu. Hmm? Alikuwa shikisimu ama? Asiki simu hata ukimpigia asiki. Mm-hmm. Aliniwacha na watoto kabisa. Mm-hmm. Ulikuwa na miaka mingapi huo wakati? That time nilikuwa sasa niko na hapo nilikuwa na 19. Nilikuwa na watoto wawili. Na niko na watoto wawili. Okay. Eh na watoto. Watoto wangu. Mm-hmm. Yes, that time nilipata kama niko shule. Okay. Mm. Mm-hmm. Sa ule anga shukulika hata cuz bado tulikuwa watoto wote. Mm. Mm. Sa ilibidi nikae huko Shago. Nikaona maisha ni ngumu sana kama mtoto wetu ule mwenye alizaliwa amefika 7 months. Ilibidi nimpeleke Children's Home. Ndio nitoke niwache watoto wangu pale na wale watoto wetu kwa show nikuja hata ni pate hata kazi ya nyumba. Mm-hmm. That time nilikuja nilienda nikapata kazi nyingine huko inaitwa Ndori huko Sembo nikapata kazi ya nyumba. Sasa hapo ndio nilikuwa nafanya kazi ya nyumba. Nikafanya hapo nikaenda cause pale children's home 
kama baba mtoto wako bado utalipa fi unalipa tu kama shule sasa nilikuwa napata kidogo napelekea napeleka huko children's home alafu zingine napelekea shosho nyumbani kulinda watoto hapo nikatoka asembo nikapata kazi zingine tena Nairobi kwa sasa unaangalia bay nikakuja Nairobi nikakutana na msichana mwingine alikuwa anaitwa Masi huyu Masi aliniweka kwake nilikuwa namfanyia kazi ya nyumba huko ngo tukafanya na yeye like two years saa alikuwa naenda Mombasa kazi yake ilikuwa nampeleka Mombasa ndio nikaambia huko mbali na vile niko, nitaka mbali na watoto na ninafaa naenda kuangalia saa ni kama sitaenda na we Mombasa akaniambia ema vile umenifanyia kazi mzuri siwezi nikakuacha hivyo na alikuwa anga na beauty shop uko side ya Kibera akaniambia kile nitakufanyia nitakuachia beauty shop yangu ufanye ufanye hapo kama hauwezi enda na mimi Mombasa akaniwacha hapo nikaanza kufanya kazi hapo kwa beauty shop ilikuwa salon na vitu ya kuza ya hizi beauty shop mm-hmm. nikafanya hapo nikafanya hapo ndio wakati sasa nikapata mzee mm-hmm. tukaoleka tu vizuri alikuwa mtu wa sabato mwesdie cuz nilikuwa najaribu nipate mtu mwenye at least atanielewa na watoto wangu cuz wale si watoto wake si sasa tukaanioa vizuri tukaombewa tu church si ya harusi ile kuombewa tu akakubali aka akanichukua na watoto wangu wawili maisha ikaanza tu vizuri tukiishi tukiishi like tukaka like six years six years ndio nikapata mtoto wa tatu sasa vile nilipata mtoto wa tatu hapo hapo kwa nini to hapo karibu 2 months nikaanza ku feel na gonjeka na shindwa na shindwa nita nini mbaya ikabidi niende St Mary Hospital kwenda St Mary wakanipima wakanipata na wakanipata kama niko na ball na already niko na shida ya kidney wakaniambia ema hii uwezi beba mimi bali lazima itolewa nikaambia nimekaa bila ku pata mtoto na hii itaniletea shida lazima ni nionge na mzee kama atakubali tutoe mimba kuambia mzee mzee akakataa akaniambia kama natoa hiyo mimba eri marriage tufanye nini eharibike that time sikuwa nimejua shida ya kidney hata inafanya mtu aje like it down mm. sasa nilisema ni koredi ku sacrifice Daktari akaniambia ujui kile una nini acha tu kutoningaambia hapana acha tu ni sacrifice nione vile itakuwa si ikifika 4 months tena na nashinda na sindo hata kupomua eh, nikarudi tena huko tu St Mary's wakanipata condition yangu ni mbaya wakanipeleka Kinyata Hospital hapo kunipeleka Kinyata Hospital wakapata pressure iko juu Uh, ambapo siwezi atapomua vizuri ambapo lazima niweke kwa niweke kwa mm, oxygen sasa so, vile niliwekwa pale kwa oxygen nilikaa hapo kwa ward like singeweza toka nilikaa ward like five months kijata kama niko tu pale nawekwa oxygen na tolewa ICU hivyo tu mpaka nikapata huyu mtoto wangu oh limpata mm. nikaza mtoto kuza mtoto Mungu alinibariki nikapata mtoto kijana na vile niliza wakapeleka mtoto na sari hata sikufanyia operation nilisa tu vizuri wakapeleka mtoto na sari na mimi nikabaki ward sasa nilikuwa napelekwa na wheelchair na pale kumnyonyesha na rudi kwa mtoto alikuwa tu sawa na Sijui Mungu alikuwa ananieleza nina niliza mtoto mtoto mkono 11 11 kama kona 11 vidole sasa vile uh, uh, nilienda siku ya siku ya nane sasa tukanyonyesha mtoto saa 12 tunarudi saa tatu kwenda ananiambia immaculate bungoja hapo nje kidogo tutakuita Uh, ni anashindwa nini mbaya wanashindwa wanataka kuniambia mtoto aende nyumbani ama nini na nani atamlinda huko 
Uh, kukuja wananiambia we are sorry nikaambia nini ati mtoto amekufa nikaambia mtoto amekufa aje mtoto amekufa aje na alikuwa tu sawa nikamnyonyesha mtoto amekufa aje sasa hapo kuleta mtoto ikwa yango ikwa yango nikaanza kuteta pale kuteta wa nas mwingine akakuja akaniambia vile unateta hapa hivyo we uki, uki, ukienda pale utaleta shida kwa wote saa mimi pia nikaogopa ikabidi ni nitoroke kinya nitoroke kinya hata nilitoroka kitu saa kumi na mbili asubuhi kwa sababu nilikuwa nimekaa pale wa kujua nitatoroka kwa sababu nilishoya wa, wa masoja walikuwa wamejua tu niko hapo ndani sa si nika before ni toke nikapigia mzee nikamwambia mtoto wangu ni kama mtoto amekufa akaniambia aje akaniambia hataki kujua hataki hiyo story hapo ndio mzee aliniwacha kinyata akakata simu mpaka wa leo aliniwacha kinyata ilibidi vile alikata simu akaniambia yangu na yeye imeisha nikashindwa sasa nitatoka kinyata aje na hizo bill zote ilibidi nitoroke Kenyatta. Nilitoroka Kenyatta kukuja kwa nyumba napata watoto wangu wale wasichana wawili kumbe akwa anashughulikia hata majirani ndio walikuwa nashughulikia hata watoto wangu. Mzee alienda hivi akaniacha Kenyatta akatoroka akaenda akawa bibi mwingine akaniwacha hapo kwa nyumba. Hapo ndio maisha ikaanza kunilemea. Sasa nimefura, siwezi hata siwezi move, tumbo imefura kwa zile shida ya kidney sasa na nini? Kwa pale nilikuwa natibiwa na nimetoka kunini si kutibiwa kinyata. Saa shosho yangu akakuja kutoka Kindu Bay, akakuja akanichukua, wakanipeleka ushago hapo ndio matibabu ilianza huko Gendia Hospital. Sasa kukuja kukaa huko naona shosha na stragu vile naenda dialysis naenda dialysis ana stragu kwa pale kwenda Kisumu kutoka kitu mpaka Kisumu ni pesa mingi. Sasa nikamwambia shos edi nirudi Nairobi kwa Nairobi at least fare si pesa mingi. Ndatumia hata 70 po, bob nifike Kenyatta uh, kwa that time bado nilikuwa natembea nikarudi Nairobi kurudi Nairobi maisha ikanilemea kwa watoto wale watoto wangu nikawachia shosho mwenye meza mama mm-hmm. nikamwachia huko mimi nikarudi Nairobi nianze life mm-hmm. kurudi kwa ile nyumba yangu nilikuwa nikapata landlord amenifungia nyumba na mzee pia ameweka kifuli yake sasa siwezi ingia pale nikashindwa nitaenda wapi napigia baba yangu at that time baba yangu baada alikuwa hapa Nairobi alinikatia simu napigia mal relatives so alinikatia simu nikashindwa nitaenda wapi mmoja tu ndiye ali aunt yangu mwingine ndiye alikubali kunikaribisha kwake kunikaribisha sasa tukakaa na yeye hapa vile tumekaa na yeye sasa yeye pia maisha yake ni ngumu ni ile tu anafanya kazi ya salon saa zingine apate saa zingine atapata ikabidi sasa maisha ni ngumu nilikuwa na jaribu naomba watu fair ndio niende dialysis cuz dialysis lazima nifanye twice a week monday and thursday na sina fair hata kuna kitu nafanya sasa ilikuwa inabidi naomba majirani mpaka nashindwa leo nitaomba nani but Mungu alikuwa nani, ananisaidia napata hiyo kidogo nafika hospitali sasa maisha yangu imesakwa tu ile ile na kuteseka watoto wangu sasa wamekuwa wakubwa saa hizi eh, wamemaliza form 4 wote wawili na mmoja first one amepata mtoto mtoto ni 2 years now sasa vile nilitoka nilikuwa naishi na anti nikaona pia anti ajiwezi nikaona sasa vile watoto wangu wamesao kwa wakubwa na hizo apanga nyumba yangu nipate ka nyumba nianze kupanga nyumba hapo at least hata kama tunaishi na wao wanaenda kufua warudi hizi mavibarua vidogo vidogo wanapata wanaenda kufua ndio tupate hata kitu ya kukula nilikuwa na uzo mwena maisha ikanilemea sasa hata siwezi tembea cuz nimekaa like sasa tangu nianze kugonjeka kidney ni six years now wow. 
Wow. Imefika 6 years nikienda dialysis. Mm -hmm. uh, ile unapitia zile sida nimepitia through kidney si rahisi hata kidogo cause pressure inapanda mm -hmm. unawekwa pale kwa machine unakaa for 4 hours mm -hmm. saa zingine umewekwa hivyo saa zingine huko pata hata kitu ya kukula unaenda nje umefaint kwa machine una mtu wa ku call my relatives yako walikutoroka wote hata niko na brother yangu mwenye nilikuwa na nimeteseka nao kabisa masisa yangu wametoroka wameniacha hivyo niko na watoto wangu saa hizi tu mm -hmm. Unapata ma relative wengine wanakuja wanakuliza hata eh masai ukikufa utazikwa wapi unaona mpaka saa zingine inashindwa mtu like mtu aelewi ile situation uko unaona unafika mtu una, kuna siku mtu yangu mwingine alikuja akaniuliza ema kwa nini unashuka nywele hmm? Kwa nini unashuka nywele? Nikamuliza kwa nini? Si utapea watu wa mucharika singumu. Na nakuambia hivi face to face. Like mtu anaweza kukuona hivi, we anaona uko weak. Anaona uko weak ile mpaka yeye ameza kuona tu kama we ni uko tu ile kukufa. But mtu anaweza kukuona hivi, but mimi naona tu roho yangu iko iko ile happy. But mtu anakujaji ile tofauti vile auko. Sasa vile nili, nili, nilienda sorry unaweza pata my relatives vile nilisha kuwa hivi wanaona wanakuliza mpaka sa hivi vile unaweza ataona nianze ile story ya whatsapp group ni, ni, ni change pesa ya, ya transplant mm -hmm. but mtu anakuliza ema vile umekana hii shida ya kidney mpaka 6 years now uta, uta, uta survive kweli mbona unataka kuwaste kidney ya mtu unaona mm -hmm. mtu anaona already we mwisho yako tu ni ukufe hmm? Hmm? ukufe tu hakuna mtu anachungulika mi saizi maisha yangu ile tu ile kitu inanisaidia tu ni maombi maombi ndio imekuwa imenishikilia cause without god sijui ningekuwa wapi saizi mm cause inafika kama wakati kuna siku karibu niseme tu ni, ni kama niliaga nikaru mungu akanirudisha na hiyo ni kama Sa ile mungu amekuweka hivyo. Ako nania. Ako nania ya kukuweka kwa nini umeka hivyo. Kwa watu wengi wako na shida ya kidini. Na unapata hata wafiki hata two months na shida ya kidini. Wengine hata wafiki hata unaona mtu ameenda kwa machine. Kurudi kwake ameaga. But mi marafiki yangu ameenda wale tukonayo pale kwa dialysis. But mina shindwa mungu wako na nia ya. Nia, nia, na mimi cause anani keep nikiendelea tu unaona na transplant i mean uh, dialysis yenyewe inalipiwa aje dialysis inalipwa 9500 per section mm -hmm. na hiyo tunalipa na nhif okay. sasa lazima nhif yako lazima pia ikuwe active mm -hmm. Kuz kama aiko active we si fanyua dialysis. Yeah. Na umezungumzia transplant. Eh? Transplant basically sio uh, sio procedure ambayo ni ya bei rahisi. Eh, pia kupata donors we, wenyewe si rahisi. Ume, umefanikiwa kupata donors? Yeah, kuna unapata vile mi marafiki. Marafiki ndio wamesimama na mimi na niko na msichana wangu. Uh, na msichana wangu amejitolea niko na kazi yangu na tena aunti yangu mm -hmm. yeah. mm. na transplant uliambua inahitaji inagarimu pesa ngapi kama waliniambia hapa Kenya ni 3 million mm -hmm. na uko ukienda India ni 5 ama 4 mm -hmm. yeah. 
Mm -hmm. So kwa watu wote ambao wanatutazama you guys have had a story it's very touching it's very emotional but what uh, you know really inspires me is the way she keeps her hope alive and knows that God has a plan for her so if you're watching this video and in any way umeguswa in any way you can actually support her niteka namba yake kwenye comment section i've also ni make up pia pale kwenye screen yako guys reach out to Emma she's a very strong woman she's gone through a lot but then she's always you know keeping her head up and you know hoping for a better or for a better day kama wewe ni daktari if uh, you are a psych uh, ya yeah, psych psychologist i mean if you are a psychiatrist kama wewe ni mtu ambaye unaweza kuzungumza na yeye kama wewe ni mtu ambaye unaweza kum support even on her journey uh, ya kuweza kupata this transplant umesikia Kenya it's 3 million India is uh, around 5 million guys if you can really support her that will be really great zungumza na mtu yote ambaye anakutazama sasa hivi yeah nilikuwa na size kama unaniona mimi ume na, naomba msam, naomba kama unaweza nisaidia uh, nifanye transplant nime nimesa teseka kwa hii sorry ya dialysis nikienda nikirudi please pale huko naomba tu saidisi naomba tu munisaidie na hiyo nipate hiyo pesa niende nifanyiwe transplant kwa size nimekaa hata siwezi tembea hata kidogo nilikuwa natembea na uoka i can't walk hata sina wheelchair niko tu hivi na sasa mnaelewa tu na maisha ya slum si, si rahisi hata kidogo Munisaidia tu nipate hiyo transplant mko atabariki mwenye ananiona pale huko please i beg munisaidia tu nifanye hiyo transplant munikirudi nifanye hapa ushuhuda nitashukuru sana nitashukuru munisaidia tu munisaidia tu yeah uh, anaitwa immaculate accord the number is on your screen if you're watching this story and you feel like unaweza kum support in any way even if it's getting a wheelchair you can move around because she's actually she's literally been carried from place to place even for her to get to the interview it may be a baby and even going back home she's going to be carried so guys it's been a tough journey for her and if you're watching this na imekuguza in any way please do support her asante sana thank you so much for being courageous enough to share your story thank you also for being courageous enough kufika hata hapa umetoka mbali sana but i really appreciate you uh, god atakufungua atafungua njia and there is a better day tomorrow asante sana mimi naitwa presenter eh uh -huh. kuna kitu nataka kuongeza mm hapana mimi nashukuru tu Okay. Yeah. Karibu sana. Mm. Okay, mimi naitwa presenter Ali your entertainment PA. The A is for amazing reach out also to Bed uh, Bed Palace KE if you are in need of furniture, tables, office chairs, office office tables. Naomba kwamba umetumwa na presenter Ali the entertainment PA. Siku zote ukitaka kufanikiwa usipende kusifiwa. I'll see you guys in the next video behind the camera. Frank the director signing out.